Another Imi Zap for the recording session, eh? Imi Zap Seeds Machine Twin Drive. Probably Twin Drive for me if I am sticking with Rasmus at this point then. But I'll really see how we're holding. So I don't I want to potentially deal with in this case then. Luna, potentially? Or Twin Drive? Jubo? I, I still don't like Jubo just in general because... Seeds Machine Twin Drive are still very scary concepts to potentially have to deal Something with here. And I'd rather just not because... At least for me playing Rasmus, I have speed to cheat, but creation about the creations from win Jubo, a blob could easily sword. eat up my whiplash strike recast to win the war, and that's not counting the fact that she can just jump over the hole or jump over me if it comes to. So I want to win on that regard. <sighs> Octavia Rasmus Asher. Chains are Asher Dolly. And yeah. though I could see Octavia Dolly uh, every now and then or so. Cool. Rasmus Pummel is, of course, Seeds Machine on Rasmus, so he's looking for longer, wider poles. I'm just looking to outpace him, and it is Switch Kits otherwise. Big thing to note is that we really want to be able to work off of Atlas's cooldowns and see where his pressure potentially builds towards, because anytime it gets passed to- uh, anytime the core gets passed to Octavia, if he doesn't have a creation on the table, that is wars that we do not want to be forced on us here. So we just need to be immediately clued in on that fact. The fact I'm not getting any wars that I'd like here really blows. Razzy B gets the hook, but he doesn't have any cooldowns. But I just missed my strike, and then strike shot miss, and everything sucks. We had good pressure on Octavia to begin with, but with it being uh, round one, or set one rather, a twin drive's not really going to push the gold pressure. Otherwise, he can just run away. So we are. So I mean, I are looking at this very uh, uh, in a very good angle of just trying to find ways to kill her. But otherwise, like that is going to be a win condition that we can push for the future. For now, it really just comes down to how the game goes. Otherwise, here, nice stuff, I mean. How, how the game goes with just us winning core control. Because if we can find the situations to where we get those freak accident kills, or rather when she tries to come up in force, just one thing. I think it's the Atlas Octavia game. Octavia always just wants to, of course, outspeed you, and then immediately win a war off of that end. Oh my goodness, it was two pendulum swing kills. Because if she can force 50 50, she always, you know, has, you know, initiator's advantage with getting those 50 50s going. But Atlas just kind of. Hard, uh, just says a hard no. Amazing demon angel. I love that, Aimee. With, um, no, with just celestial, inter uh, cosmic expansion or just, um, astral projection to just say hard no because, you know, those exact creations just completely drive, uh, uh, sorry, drive her ability to do much else out of the water. So we need to just work off of whenever we see Atlas use a cooldown, don't be afraid to fall back on that end and really force the issue otherwise. Because right now I'm just still looking to force this pressure on Octavia and be the strike marker. Stop her, stab her from naturally coming back. Good stuff. And I tried hooking her. I really did try. Just didn't work out. Just keeping her stagger low. Because even if other Rasmus is forcing some attention, fact is, is that I got the stagger out of Octavia, and we can potentially force something off of this. Like my conversion into my Pummelers now. Oh my god, he has his own Pummelers, and because of, uh, because of Seed's Machine, it hits harder. I'll be honest, I was trying to, uh, I was watching Asher for that, I wasn't watching Rasmus for that, because I didn't expect him to commit no. his hood. So, f find enough from there. That Welcome sucks so much. He really did just dip me there. Because I had my own hook potentially to drag it out otherwise, but he got me. So fair play, fair play. You're going to come down to the last set. I think it once again. Just look at Octavia, Octavia, Octavia. Because Rasmus did hook me in there, and he's looking for another hook angel. I can't believe I died to that. I thought I was at safe enough distance. Good defensive work, Imee. Good, good holding out. I can't believe we didn't actually go to Rasmus there, so we can count our lucky stars on that end. I'll remember that. Tried to, I, I tried to keep him held there as much as I possibly could. Even if I didn't get Octavia there, I still did get the Whiplash to guarantee the core. Keeping it low for what I can. I wanted to get past, but it didn't work out. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh well. First set didn't go our way. An extra special specialized training, of course, if Rasmus gets it, would really blow us out and we need to pivot our game plan because we did lose the set. 
So that's on me, without a doubt. Two deaths. Prize fighter could potentially be a problem. Demolitionist, of course, will be great, but since I died twice, I'm lost in draft, so it's not like I'm getting much off of this. Big thing is Octavia can get fight or flight, which would be a problem for us. But I'm looking at demo or even heavy impact when it comes to here. I could also go for the cheesy play of getting missile propulsion to really see how things span. But I do think it's just going to be a boat diff. Yeah, I think so. Because I need to outsize Rasmus. And even though I could potentially make demolitionist plays, I need more damage more than CDRs. So respect the Razzy B to see how it goes from here. I just want to keep it out of Octavia's hands for what I can and see what advantages we can span otherwise. We both went for the orb, Atlas and I. So that's just a little awkward, I will admit. Keep the pressure on Rasmus by just hitting him right there. Our huts should be coming back at relatively the same time. Ah, Tavia was able to span it. Maybe I should have just tried to hook Tavia out of position then, buy us some time. So, use Tempo Hurts. Tempo Hurts. Don't just switch for the kills yourself, Crazy. Tempo Hurts. Well, he did look for it. I'm not gonna deny that. Keep it away from Octavia. Rasmus is lagging, but Asher committed for me because I was looking at Rasmus. Actually, that is amazing coverage play from Asher, but that's so unfortunate. I was like, is Rasmus good? And then my my one my one moment of weakness gets exploited hard. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, I got it for it again, so I thought, alright, this will just be free. It's Rasmus, what can I say? Oh well. Gotta be careful. Good defensive play. Need to drag this out of the way. Nice try and you're cheating right there. No Razzy B hook. I'm slowed, so I can't get a play going. I'm, I'm, I'm failing my job as our forward right now. I'm trying to play respectful because if I get if I get a burst, a hit by the burst from Asher, then I'm just gonna die. Because you can just charge primary and burst me. I did get the barrier somehow. Aquas missed a strike shot, which really does suck though. I need to move in here and just cut off the Razzy B angle. And kill him. Great. Cut the top. Good stuff. Octavia can't function off of a... Uh, uh, without creations herself. Nice try at cutting. I'm just covering the top. Good patience, good patience. Nice stuff, Imi. I was out of cooldown, so I couldn't actually work towards pushing Asher because I can't push into the. Uh, just, uh, I can't push into the rest of the firewall since she hits with just Whiplash by itself. Look, you're still able to idea span. Like I said, right there, yeah. Rasmus is constantly just trying to look for that opening hook. He's just whiplashing as soon as possible and just trying to convert off of that, which is so damn annoying. A satisfying resolution. I didn't want to commit anything right there at that point because I was hoping, because uh, I was just intrinsically hoping maybe they can't convert enough, but it really just is. Rasmus is just speeding up as soon as he possibly can and just starting it off. So I should respect that and try to maybe force a little bit more on those issues. But we'll just have to see how it goes. God damn it. Well, at least he didn't get prize fighter out of this. I will say that at the very least. Sucks that we still lose the goal barrier, but we are actually drowning on these kills here. Nice Twitch pop angle. So I have my own hook coming back. So that means Rasmus has his. Just keep this pressure. Yeah, I got you this time, motherfucker. <laughs> Deny the orb from Octavia, and then we just drag it down home, potentially. Just keeping the stagger pressure. Tried for it. I was just a little off in my whiplash hit. Good! The closing out there, otherwise. I was still too low in my stagger, so that really does suck. Yeah, no reason for Aimee to hit it at this point. She's just trying to hold the core for all I respawn. I really love your demon angle tries. They are really creative, and I do appreciate them. Just trying to bring Octavia away from the onus of the play, quite frankly. I missed my strike, which is really bad, because she can potentially get something going on from here. Oh my god, it, it came perfectly to me in a dream! Need to move up and cover vertically. That was such a good strike shot. Need to hook Rasmus out of the play. I look for it. 
they are winning the play so hard. But Octavia's finally dead. Finally dead. Tried winning it off of Rasmus there. Dude, I am not I am not finding my way in. I need to just be careful of where the core could potentially go, because if it gets to Rasmus, then it's just a lost cause. That was bad. Because I'm trying to play respectful of a death touch. Okay, well, Octavia tried pushing Naimi out of position and just pushed it towards the goal mouth. We'll count as stars lucky on that, but it's really going to come down to if Rasmus or I die. Enemy Rasmus. Because we're both so close to burst, we have to be respectful. Just watch where he runs at the beginning of the set. Because if he starts immediately idea spanning for a kill, then it starts going downhill for us. God! I got caught. Can't, can't say much about that. It's just a, it's just a whatever burger. I can't die here myself. Because if I lose my burst potential, then it really sucks. <coughs> I have to win a war. And it's so annoying. We're not winning shit, though. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't blame Aimee for dying there, because once again, the first goal really opened up, and the first set as well opened up with me dying first. And I just couldn't get my own burst out of that. I didn't get enough hits. Maybe if I hit it when it came up to me, that could have potentially been something, but it just didn't come to. Immediately thinking about this, I do think Recovery Drone is first on the table, because it gets you more size to really play with. And, well, it lets you... You know, disrespect a little bit more. I will take Recovery Drone. Status Wagger could be taken by Octavia, which would be really big, but... Eh. Good, good counter drafting, I'd think, immediately by Aimee, and... Atlas could get, take a spark, but 1-2 Punch helps him immediately bully the Rasmus away a little bit more, which I think is very huge. Didn't get shit. I did get the... Uh, I, I did get the Octavia, though. Which is huge. I can't believe we didn't get that. That was a very bad angle for me, but we were still able to span it out afterwards. Just keep drawing their attention for what I can. They want to keep hitting me. And... Master class enough! Asha was really looking for me there, but the fact that she didn't get me... Uh, the fact that, um... Yeah, she didn't get me with the full primary hit because I had enough energy to evade. Meant that I get to keep my recovery drone. And I was able to just force that play afterwards, which is really big. Yeah, like I said, Rasmus is idea spanning. Oh, he's, he's really trying to cook. But I think he's cooking a little too much sometimes with him trying to win it at the beginning. Now, I say that as I just grief our own end. Astra's trying to move up to win something else with her burst. I just need to keep denying the top. If it feeds to Rasmus, so what? I will just eat the core from him. <coughs> Tried looking for something. Not gonna get it. I need to go further down because I need was trusting the core with me down there. And I'm failing that role very badly. I'm trying to keep it away from Octavia as much as I can. That's great that the voice, uh, bur voice burst was forced. Alright, Rasmus spent his burst for me there. I tried reaction testing it right there. Just trying to hold the core while Atlas comes back, quite frankly. That's really all that my role is right now. I was thinking about hooking Octavia earlier when she was at two pips, two, like, half health. And when she had burst, but I really didn't think I'd really be able to do anything more on my end. Because I had no cooldowns, but I should have just kept it away from her because she was able to make a play off of the burst, and that's where all the problems started. Just being respectful of Rasmus here. Making sure that we can try to guarantee a feed otherwise. I need to keep holding the corner because Aimee was committed right there. I'm really trying to get it out of the corner here, dude, but I am not getting shit. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh well. Rasmus kill. Rasmus kill! I got the burst out of you, which is huge. Tried getting a hit afterwards, just didn't work out. I need to be very respectful because I... Yeah, I was about to say, I have no cooldowns. I have no health. 
Ah, oh, good, good spanning. I was looking at the orb, so I wasn't looking at Drasmus because I thought they'd all just be bunched up in the corner there. Good touch timing. Mean, really good ability use right there, but you are out, so I need to I need to get in on the play. Fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> well, can't say much about that. I tried hooking Octavia. So I was not ready to uh, get my own play right there. Yeah, I, I know what you're trying to do, Rasmus. I can at least be respectful for when I'm looking. When I'm looking at the core there. Otherwise, I just, I, I need to feed it more to Aimee, I think. Because she is the one actually, like, midfielding way better and getting our wins going. Go, Rasmus. Good double kill. Aimee can force the issue here. I just can't be losing my position. Good hit. Eat up. Really good win. Really good win. That's good stuff right there. We're able to convert our initial damage into kills and that is huge for us what's not huge of course is the fact that rasmus should have his own death touch bat so just playing respectful he's committed up so i can move up then and then just tempo 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 if i can put them out if i can drag them out if i can cause some damage that is a horrible strike shot to have to be hit by i need to just get my face in here Rasmus is staying back, getting his energy back, uh, getting his stature back, which is very annoying because that is the right play to do, without a doubt. I need to just hurt Octavia and just kill her. Good kill. Send it up. Good! He was looking at Aimee instead of me. That's a good force. Good stuff. 1-2 right there. Catch him off guard a little bit. Octavia was really stuck in the corner with no energy at the bottom left when I used her firewall sentry. We were able to convert that, and that is huge. Get me extra special specialized training, and we can immediately start turning this game so fast. That is going to be our biggest win condition. Only other things is that Octavia could get Spark. Spark of Resilience would really actually... That's actually going to really hurt us. If she does get it. But I have a lot more propensity to hook and to just immediately get things going. Now, she can also take aerials or glass cannon. Either or would work. But if she wants to really just start stacking more sparts, that's going to be how she survives. Hotshot is really huge. We come away with really good abilities, all things considered here. For us, explosive gets more kill pressure. Hotshot lets Atlas use his abilities a little bit more. And of course, I have extra special, so I can just idea span on how I want to really cause pressure problems. I need to just get this out and out and about. But, you know, team player is always a scary trade. The fact that the goalie got Twitch Strike is mm, something I'm not going to be happy about. And then, including going on from there as well, like, well, a spark is a spark. That stacking is going to be a constant problem no matter what. Can't believe we got that. I need to get in the face of... Rasmus now. It was lost to 50 50. Yeah. But I can't say much there. Like, as soon as it came around, I had to start trending up and I couldn't beat Rasmus because I have no speed. So unfortunate that Aimee died, but I didn't get anything with my death touch. At, uh, like, other Rasmus got his. And I am playing very, very respectful of it, but I think I need to disrespect it for the sake of we need to get something going here. I threw my death touch out at the back there to try to make sure that we don't lose the barrier. Because that is our next biggest pain point. Need to drag it down in a way. Good kill. Convert the striker advantage now. Nice try on your commit. Ooh, sets a close win for me. Tried getting it. If I got Asher, that actually would have been so good. I lost my thing right there. I lost my recovery drone, which sucks, but it's okay. Just span this advantage and immediately get up top if I can. I worked for something. Didn't get it. It's alright. Tried killing Rasmus right there, potentially, if I could. Just didn't catch him with the Death Touch. So instead, catch him with the Pendulum Swing? I just need to stagger him and just make sure that he has to respect and potentially evade more. Kill Octavia. That's great. Oh, I don't know about that pass. the pressure on Rasmus. I am not getting anything that I want. Rasmus is looking for something. I couldn't get a death touch, but Octavia didn't kill me. 
I crucially, I'm still alive. It's just that once again, I haven't been able to convert shit, and that is really causing a problem for our efforts. It says, yeah, once again, it says whoever dies first, Rasmus or I, is going to be the biggest linchpin of the operation here. Alright, Stagger's back. Good kill. Just force their attention. <coughs> and that's good. Good, 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 good. Just waited it out. Even if I didn't get the kill, I mean, did get, <laughs> get the other Rasmus with her Cyber Swipe, so we can span this out. Death touch back on the table for both of us, probably. We both looked for an initial play right there. But Tavi gets too close. I was looking to punish her. Need to win my ones. I didn't win the one. That's all right. Just drag it to their side and force the issue on their side of the court. Because then it's uncomfortable for Rasmus to want to death touch. And I could potentially get something going here. I was late on my cast. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Just get some hits. I was looking to get my burst right there before Asher could kill me, but the fact is, burst for a kill, and like, burst for a kill, and I lost my burst too, which sucks. Sucks that we lost our barrier so badly. I got the kill, though. I got the kill. We can, we can idea span off of this. Force the corner. Oh my god. Oh, we still got the barrier, though. That's so huge. Nice stuff. I mean, nice follow-up. Just... I'm winning my wars that I need to when it comes to killing the Rasmus or finding it. I'm getting a lot more comfortable of just immediately putting my hoods out that I am just winning that. Slowly but surely. Now I say that, I don't want to lose my initial touch here. I can keep forcing him away. That was a really, really good base. Drop whatever stuff like that. I looked away for that exact one moment. I was about to press the evade button when I was looking at Octavia. But past that, I wasn't looking at Octavia. And that's where he got me. That's just, you know... I, I, I got uh, to face. I got measured response right there. Oh no. I potentially could have death touched Octavia and just tried to stun her and then just win the core from there, but I don't have speed. If I hit the core itself, I could have gotten it. So I think I should have just been more, been more open to just immediately winning a war off of that end. That's what I think really what it comes to. All right, won my Rasmus War this time. I shouldn't be greeting for the orb at this point. I should just be sending it down and away. That way, I mean, could potentially get the core. Good kill. Nice stuff. Force this issue. Force this issue. Ugh. Really good. No, my depth touch didn't get it, so it's back in that corner. Need to just get in between the fact that I missed again. Sucks. But I'm getting to clear it down, which is huge. I didn't stun Octavia in time to win the core, but I can win the corner. I missed the corner. I missed the corner again. I need to evade so I don't die. Oh my god. My reflexes is fucking suck. We lost the barrier off of that. We might lose the game off of this, quite frankly. Nah, death touch is so huge. I was trying to save mine otherwise. Oh, uh, nice stuff by them. I, I just couldn't quite we finish. I was really struggling right there that I was just getting a lot of my stuff on kill conversions. So that is definitely my problem because I was trying to respect the Rasmus at the beginning. So if it spawned at the bottom, it's good for Aimee. But if it spawned up top, I was just looking to Pendulum Swing and I was giving that up. And then I just really couldn't convert much past getting my whole kills. And when they don't work, you know, if your entire game plan is revolving around, I have to get a kill to really succeed. Unless you're Tazan, then it kind of starts to suffer. So I got Rasmus stiff there. Well played, dude. I can't say too much about that.